your local weather authority forecast. Ooh, well, good morning, everybody. It sure is cold out there, so make sure to bundle up if you haven't stepped out the door just yet. Now, we've got a cold front moving into West Texas right now, and it's producing a fair amount of cloud cover overhead, and these clouds are beginning to settle in a little bit closer to the surface. You can see off in the distance here, not a huge gap between those clouds and that horizon, which means that they're close to the surface, which also means that if there were to be any wintry mix or snow chances or anything like that, well, the chances will be high when the clouds are lower, just simply because there's less distance for any of those snowflakes to cover. Now we can also see that winds are beginning to pick up quite substantially as well. This cold front is really coming with some drastic changes to our temperatures as well as our wind speed. So again, make sure to bundle up if you haven't made it out the door just yet. And thanks to our Sky Tracker here in Midland, a great look at those clouds and those winds. With switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see this cold front is well, it's right there and it's moving slowly. So it's stayed right there for a long time. This is maybe the slowest cold front I have ever seen, but it is coming with some really drastic changes, as we mentioned. Now, it's also coming with a fairly strong snow band that's moving into the panhandle of Texas, as well as Oklahoma and some parts of New Mexico. Now, that snow band is going to move just like this cold front very slowly and down to the south and east. You can already see it showing up close to Eddie and Lee County counties in southeast New Mexico, but it'll be a little while before we see that snow actually make its way into our region of southeast New Mexico. Now, as it gets there, that snow band is going to have a hard time holding together. You can see by about 9 a.m., it's finally cresting into the northern part of our southeastern New Mexico counties. As well, we may see a little bit of snow falling across the northern part of the basin. By the time we get to about 12 noon today, though, notice that snow band really beginning to break up, leaving just a couple of remnants behind, as well as a lot of cloud cover. Now, as that continues to track towards us here in Odessa and Midland, we may pick up some wintry mix, possibly possibly some freezing rain, generally a little bit of sleet out there, but our chances for that are not going to be too high. Again, that snow band really is likely to break up as it gets closer to us, and that'll leave us with some clear skies for the rest of the evening, as well as into tomorrow and into tomorrow afternoon. So it's going to be a cold day today. Current temperatures are sitting in the 20s, 25 degrees for Odessa and Midland. Sunrise, 7.05, 7.04 a.m., so we've got about another hour or so before that sun comes up. Unfortunately, it's not going to help us warm up too much. We'll be at 32 degrees by the time we get to 12 noon today. And my forecast high only manages to warm us up to 37 here in Odessa Midland. So it is going to be a really cold day today. We do maintain a really small 20% chance for wintry mix by the end of the afternoon. And again, highs land at 37 today. But hey, good news. We pick up to 58 tomorrow and 68 for Sunday.